Hello? Testing, testing. Hi. Hi. Hey, hey, it's me, Blossom, the mischievous Blossom. I dug myself out of trash to come see you. How y'all doing? Hello, hi. Hello. We're in a field right now, because I decided to. <laughs> I was playing flat round with Warudo and found out that you can do worlds. So, and also pose your character and everything, so. Now we're in a, uh, in like a meadow. Shindo, thank you for being first. You're the first and only. If anyone says I was, I will smack him. I saw Farrick here earlier. Hello, Farrick. Hello, Shindo. Hello, Mr. Fat Cat. Welcome. Let me see. It keeps trying to re reconnect everything. Let me see. Okay, my update did go. Up, up. The grass is clipping into it. It must hurt. It's, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's fine. I'm just sitting on the grass. <laughs> uh. It's it's bending the grass. It's not clipping into me totally. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the sounds. There's actually like sounds in this world. Just like a little, very faint wind blowing. I wonder if I can turn it up. There it is. You can kind of hear the stream. It's like a whole campsite here. But I found the little spot with flowers and I thought it was cool. My hand tracking doesn't work. Also my hands are doing weird stuff. <laughs> yeah. There's a mountain to over there. Let me see if I can rotate the camera. Can I see? Oh. Yep. There's a mountain. And there's birds, too! Oh my gosh. I love birds. I think I, at the campsite it was really funny because when I... When I went through the campsite, apparently they have collision physics, so I um, smacked right <laughs> into the, the tents. It's Blossom, the opossum in our field of blossoms. It is. Hello, Miles. I need to fix those model changes. I need to get to those. Um, I was going to do that today, but then I got distracted, so I well, might do it later tonight or might do it tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, jeez. What did I do? <laughs> I resized the window, apparently. That was hilarious. Okay, let's look over here. Oh. Wow. There's so much grass. I'm just, like, covered in grass, guys. Look. <laughs> it looks like you guys are really short. You guys are Junie-sized. Let me see here. You guys are genie sized and you're in the grass hiding and I see you. <laughs> you can't hide from me. I tried doing hand tracking with this, but it, it just did really funny because um, the arms are, are stuck reaching out. Uh, so <laughs> it would, um, it would, uh, just kind of have her, her holding her hands out and like grasping for in, in nothing. Wild shadow attacks? No! <laughs> yeah, you're like a Pokemon. Let's see. What happens if I do this? Oh, there we go. There's some motion on it. You can see the little campsite. I actually spawned in the campsite. Let me see if I make is this supposed to be bigger? Yeah, there we go. 
I spawned in the campsites. Um, over there, like in the middle. Oh wait, is that like a cabin? Is there a cabin over there? Are you guys see what I'm seeing? On the distance? Is like that way. Past the rocks. Huh. I might have to explore this map a bit more. Find more places to sit. There's like something blocking the way though. Oh, it's there's like a whole like river stream thing there. Hmm. Well, jeez. <laughs> just leaning back. Yeah, there's like a campsite. You can like move around in it. If you can like kind of move around, but I thought it would be cute to be over here. La. And there's the view of the mountain, which looks really good. This map is great. Here, this is actually hopping. I need to stop drinking. <laughs> Hello, Reptarion. Thank you for the uh, five stream streak. Let's see. I love the lighting on this scene. It's so it's so like pretty. I think the one problem that I have is that for some reason the you can see like every line in my hair. <laughs> it's kind of chaotic. It's it looks really weird. All the pink streaks. That's supposed to be outline. I don't know why it's appearing and not being affected by lighting. I don't know why, but it makes me want to make a sandwich. <laughs> it's like it makes you think of a picnic, right? It made me think of a picnic. We'll get to trails in a bit, don't worry. <laughs> but yeah, it made me think of a picnic. And I'm on keto now, so I can't have a sandwich. I'll have to get keto bread. We'll see. Maybe they have some at Walmart. I have no idea, honestly. This needs to be a, a desktop live background. <laughs> Blossom sitting in the, in the field of flowers on your back desktop. I need to get back on it too, but bread and soda is so good, I know. I think you could do sugar-free, calorie-free soda. I mean, the aspartame isn't healthy for you at all, but, you know. Hello, Farrick! Hi! <laughs> do you not like sugar-free soda? <laughs> I love diet soda, I don't know why. It's so, it's so bubbly. The best keto bread isn't carried in stores. Check out Hero Bread. It's expensive, though. I'll give Hero Bread a check. Let me, let me do that now, actually. Happy Dinosaur Tuesday? Why is it Dinosaur Tuesday? It's, it's Friday. Hi, Snake. Did I say that before? I wanted to say it again. I want to make sure to greet you. Blossom is touching grass. I am touching grass, guys. <laughs> the throw something still works. It's Tuesday, isn't it? It's Tuesday, and it? It's not Tuesday. Don't worry about it. It's Saturday? No, it's not. It's not Saturday. For Americans. Don't scare me. I have church on Saturday. Let's see. What is this trying to bring up? Oh yeah. Hero bread. Gonna heat mine and grandpa's dinner? Yay. Dinosaur Tuesday, nothing to worry about it happens. Yeah. This, this is big, big brain, brain time. time. This is big brain time. Let me see. Oh, let, no carb. Now that I can't have bread, I'm craving toast. Toast would be so good. Let me see. Oh, it has... Okay. Wait, they add protein to the bread? That's weird. 
Oh, really low carbs. That's great. Oh my gosh. It's so expensive. Guys, okay, I'm looking at Hero Bread. Hero Classic White Bread. Hello, Dandy. Hello, welcome. $21 for a loaf of bread, not counting shipping. Unless they do free shipping. Let me see. Oh, that's for two loaves? So it's actually like... Ten... Ten dollars a loaf? That's not too bad, okay. Talk about analog horror series with dinosaurs. It was really good until the author ruined it by trying some mumbo jumbo sci fi explanation that this sort of made it the dinosaurs seem mundane. Oh no! By the loaf? <laughs> I don't know. Let me see. If they take PayPal, I can buy the loaf. Because then I can spend my own money. Otherwise, I uh, have to ask my mom for it. Because I don't have a credit card, and so if it takes a credit card, she needs to input her information. And she's, she always critiques what I buy. She's like, do you really need this? I'm like, yes! If you only use it for meals, it's not so bad. I get their tortillas and burger buns. That'd be good. Wait, is butter keto? Is butter keto? It is. I can have like bread and butter. It's my long. It's my life, mom. It's not a phase. <laughs> I just want some bread and butter, okay? <laughs> but I'm on a diet now, so I can't have bread. Butter is important for energy since it's fat replacing the sugar slash carbs in your diet. Oh. Grilled cheese! Oh my gosh! That would be perfect. Yeah, I'm touching grass, Happy Cynic. I'm just saying that if I see a dinosaur outside, I will shoot it. <laughs> Turok son of stuff. <laughs> oh. Just become a, a dino hunter. Oh, I can make... Wait. Rock and stone? Oh my gosh. Now I want to play that game. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. We're, we're doing other things. Cheddar, goat cheese, gouda is keto-friendly cheese. I love goat cheese. And gouda is great. Let me see. What is this sorcery? We're just, you know, hanging out. In a field. Because we can. We can rock and stun tomorrow if you want. True. I don't remember what I have planned. Primal possum? I can't do primal possum right now, sorry. Watch this. Power wash simulator booted up! <laughs> <laughs> Stop making me play other games in the plan game I plan to play. I was hoping for a possum in the grass. Maybe. We'll see if I can input it later. I haven't imported all of my settings. I've just been playing around with it. And that's how I found out that you can make all this, this stuff here. That you can, you can set up this whole uh, environment. There's a bunch of different ones. Um, this one is the nicest I found, I think. It has sound effects. It's like really pretty. Um, but I also found one for like a loft, a uh, house, um, a stage, uh, ruins, stuff like that. Let me see. Why haven't you added Wurudo to Primal Possum? <laughs> eh, you mean Primal Possum to Wurudo? Hey, <laughs> don't smack me! So mean. It takes a bit, okay? Yeah. 
You have to hand move everything over and it's, it's a little bit of a hassle. So I'm doing it as I go. <sighs> I'm getting things thrown at me. I'm trying to relax and touch grass. You guys are throwing things at me. There's hoagie buns. Maniac, maniac. Seed bread. Is seed bread any good? I like white bread. Background noise makes me need to pee. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that, that stream sound. I already peed. I peed before um, stream, so I'm good. Though I have coffee here, so. Can't see, it's invisible. Let me see. Where is my shopping cart? Seeded bread. Hello, I just want the plain white bread, please. How much is four loaves? No, we'll just get two loaves. I might not like it. Oh, but let's see how much four loaves. Oh, $41. <laughs> My dudes! I am dying here! Single purchase. You can subscribe. Like box bundles, too? Guys, this is guys. This is my um my wellness journey. They do have to flour tortillas. Zero carbs. You imagine burger buns, dudes. I could get burger buns and just have a burger. Guys, I have realized something that is kind of important. <laughs> um, <laughs> I thought I could get away with just two meals a day, um, but I'm a very hungry possum and now I'm just waiting until I can eat again. <laughs> Cause I, I don't have, I haven't gone shopping for anything that I can make my own keto stuff. So I'm just depending on um, the factor meals that I have, which I have a limited amount of. <laughs> So, I need to go to the store later tonight after stream, probably. Oh, we've been here for a while. Um, let me see. We will get to the game very soon. I'll have to reset my thing. Now made with olive oil? Why would you make it with olive oil? Can I see? Where's their box deals? Recipes. Uh, what? What got me off of it is it that's what I did blossoms that got me off of it is that you have to eat lots of veggies it's hard for me to keep lots of salad before it goes bad oh. mm. true there's vegetables in the factor meals so I don't have to worry too much Did you... So you tried factor two, or is it in your one? Woo! Hi! Honey! Hi, Leon! Hi. Olive oil is good fat. Just as someone chef salad, no tomatoes, croutons, and carrots. I love <laughs> croutons and carrots, though. You get tired of green beans after a while? Imagine. Green beans are one of my favorites, though. Let me see. Where's their burger buns? It's not showing up. Can I just do an order of burger buns? Shop products. Burger buns. There they are. Classic hero. Oh, let me check the bundles because there might be a bundle. Bundles. There it is. How much cheaper is it? Oh, it's a lot cheaper. 
I never would have expected to come in on this relaxing scene. <laughs> yeah, we were just relaxing for a bit before we played the game. This is actually perfect. Let me see. I'm gonna get some uh, hamburgers and have that. What's that program? Starts with an M. It starts with a W. Let me type it out. Barudo. Oh, I, I can't. <laughs> I don't know why, but my, uh, but my dang um thing logged me out. Yeah, she's. It's Warudo. That's how it's spelled. Hi, Rihi. I couldn't use it with my first model because it, yeah. <laughs> I'll fix the the new one though. Y'all fix, I'll fix up the, the changes that you had. And I and when I took a look at it, it was interesting. He's like, hey, can you just move the mouth up a bit? And I was like, oh, let me see. And then and I did it, I was like, oh, yeah. It was like really long face. Um, it, uh, so <laughs> I didn't notice that. The most adorable sneeze I've ever heard. <laughs> Thank you. I will be playing in a second. Or in top was... The hair on top was below the mesh, too. Below the mesh. Huh? Pixie sneeze? <laughs> Can I... Wait. I'm gonna stir keto and she never asked me for recipes. I meant to! Like... Here's what happens, is that I get so busy and distracted that I have to just pick a day to start something, even if I'm not fully prepared for it. Because otherwise, um, I spend forever trying to get prepared for it and double thinking myself and going, Oh, I'm not prepared, I can't start yet. And then I never started. So I just learned to just take the leap um, and start ahead and work it out as I go. Even if it means I end up a little hungry. <laughs> We could use some recipes, though. Oh, I can fill out my... Yay, I filled out all my stuff. I literally just have to eat myself into something or never start exactly. Oh, there is a police car. Ruins the immersion. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, you just have to toss into it. Oh, wait. Let me see if there's a hero bread discount code. Ooh, I do like a discount code. Did I get a discount? I did! Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay. Shop pay? What is this? Guys, I'm trying to order bread. Oh no, I can't do that. All right. Continue to shipping, we'll just do this. Um, that is good. Get that bread! <laughs> oh, let me see. Oh my gosh, my dudes! $36 for bread! Continue to payment. Okay, please take PayPal. <gasps> they take PayPal, my dudes! I'm getting bread. Oh my gosh, guys, we're getting bread. I wonder how long it lasts. Okay, yeah, use the same as shipping address. Is this my address? I don't want it. Okay. Yeah, okay. I always, <laughs> imagine spinning bread on bread. 
I'm a bread too. <laughs> uh, so I went ahead and got white bread and um, and uh, some buns. So I guess I'm gonna have burgers soon. Ooh, I can bring them to my mom. She has a George Foreman. If it's two loaves, I put one in the freezer. I never like freezing bread though. Oh yeah, that would work. I, I don't really like freezing bread either, but if I have to, I can. I don't eat bread all that often, but also, it wouldn't hurt if I just eat, um, <laughs> I like buns. I do! <laughs> oh, I can't have ketchup. Is there any ketchup? Okay, wait. How did you hear about Hero? Friend or family member? There's my address. Oh my gosh, that's terrifying, guys. <laughs> Having my address, like my full address on screen, like it's not on screen screen where you can see, but oh. Sugar-free ketchup. But I thought tomatoes weren't keto. Are tomatoes keto? I'm fine with getting sugar-free ketchup then. Yeah, they're, they're not keto? Or they are keto? A little is okay. Sugar-free ketchup does sound um, blasphemous. Tomatoes are keto. Okay. So I can have a cookout. I can have a little burger. I'm excited for this, guys. I'm really hoping it works. It's made with stevia. It tastes exactly like regular ketchup. Can I get it at Walmart? I will link you after stream. Thank you. We should start the game pretty soon. You can get it at Walmart? Okay, I'm probably going to go to Walmart um, after stream. Which is going to be weird because it's going to be freezing cold and late at night. <laughs> Not smart. I would have gone it earlier, but I didn't even think about it. And then I started to get hungry and I realized I didn't have anything to eat. <laughs> I'm going to get bacon and eggs for sure. Um, if you have any keto recommendations, definitely send them to me. Also, guys, um, a bit of an announcement. Um, I'll probably be on... Um, what is it? A podcast. I'll probably be on a podcast soon. That's gonna be exciting. Uh, I got invited, but there's like these these two people that are apparently they're they're Catholic podcasters, and they were looking for people to um. They they were looking for people to to join, so I was like, okay, I'll give it a chance. I'm kind of nervous. We'll see how it goes. They do a podcast stream, so. That's going to be interesting. I've never done something like that before, but I wanted to try new things this year, so. Here we go. <laughs> I don't think they're big or anything. I don't know, actually. What did I miss? I'm going to be on a podcast, and I ordered bread. <laughs> they, I think they're probably small, but, like, I'm just imagining, what if they're actually super big or something? That scares me. <laughs> uh, who knows what we'll talk about. Um, they were asked for uh, options, and I gave them a bunch of ones. I think I know the one. I think it's called TMI Podcast or something. Through best experiences, I don't trust the food tastes like insert food item here. Yeah. I'll send you my meal plan after stream. Thank you. Also starting my own, talking about nonsense and stuff. Dude, yes. I think it'd be fun to start a podcast with a friend or something, but I don't know. I have so many other projects, and I don't know how different a podcast would be from from my actual stream. I've not listened, but I've heard about it. Oh. Yeah, Cheryl pointed me out to him. Blossoms blathering? That would be perfect. <laughs> I feel like um, we'd need to have a certain topic. I, I think I wouldn't do a normal podcast or something, but 
You can make your podcast before or after stream. True. I don't know if I'd want to just make one by myself, though. I feel like if I made one, like, part of what a lot of people like and what I like is, is being able to get real-time feedback from people, you know? So I can say, I like this, and you guys can be like, oh, I like that, or no, I don't like that, I like this, you know? Versus in a podcast, it's just me talking to the mic and being like, hey, Mike, guess what? My favorite pizza is pineapple and pizza and too bad and then I have to look at the comments like a week later and everyone is screaming because I like pineapple and pizza <laughs> you need an editor to be able to manage that too exactly it's just a little bit more complicated than that I like but I'm fine with guest starting on it someone else can do all the work <laughs> I'll just talk and talk and talk because that's what I do now <laughs> it has been 40 minutes though so we should get to there um this is gonna be really funny guys so this a relaxing view here. Let me control Z. Now it's silent. Um, I'm gonna break your immersion. It's gonna be really hilarious. Oh, woo, 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 woo. Look at this. Now I'm in the corner. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, where do? Where is it? Uh, open scene. Default scene. There I am! <laughs> oh, woo! Did I break your immersion? Is your immersion broken? Is it completely shattered? Is your mind in shambles? <laughs> okay, there's no sound and it's making me uncomfortable. Um, let me turn on something while I get this booted up. Here we go. Immersion broken. Need refund. <laughs> You know what I still like? I like I can have as much coffee as I want. <laughs> My <yippee. laughs> I like I can have as much coffee as I want um, on keto. And I just use stevia and I can sweeten it up. So I can still have like a sweet treat. And it's great for my liver, so. Sniffy snip. Okay, we're gonna be playing Trails tonight. Ooh. I hope you guys enjoyed the relaxing uh, hour that we spent in a flower field together. <laughs> I saved that scene so I can reload it whenever. Oh. I forgot to set this. Oopsie. Hey guys, did you know Blossom is dumb? I almost said my real name. <laughs> I would hate to have to <laughs> roast the crap out of you. <laughs> Don't roast people. Your girlfriend experience. Oh! Hello, insert Blossom the real name. Hello, Fifinger. Dude, that's my life. <laughs> I keep doing that. I keep, I keep like, trying to say my real name. You're just determined to break the immersion tonight, huh? I am. I roast you harder than I roasted Hans yesterday. Hans deserves to be roasted. You guys need to, rem uh, like, sometimes it's nice to be like, let's have a little picnic in the woods, right? I didn't consent to this. <laughs> but sometimes you need to be rem reminded that behind this cute little avatar is an obese white female. <laughs> cool but stinky. Also, she's 100% insane. Exactly. Also, I'm not looking for dating. I I'm, I'm gonna be dating God. That's my life right now. Okay, there's uh, orphans to save or something. Is this new? Is that a new enemy? No, I think I fought it before. The Spain part was awesome though. You're so sweet. Okay, wait, leave it alone. Oh, um, can I go back? I feel like there's new missions. Obese white female? <laughs> 
It's so funny, my dudes. Oh, I can! Okay, there might be new uh, things to do. I know there's an emergency going on and stuff, and like, kids in danger, but we have to see what's on the message board. Oh, there it is! Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, trying to run all the way from Minoria without a break was exhausting. Hello! Only that monster unless you want to climb Sapphire I'll try her. Huh? Wait, I do want to climb Sapphire Tower. I got Catfish Heart. I was expecting to date an IRL possum. Well, it turns out she's human. Ew. <laughs> yeah, you got super catfished. Oh, hello. The director's already filled me in. Alvin is left on assignment, but unfortunately, I get hasn't reported it in yet. I need you to finish up your business with the counter. I need you to go to Benori as quickly as possible. Sure thing. You don't have to persuade us. We should hurry. I'm worried about Karna. Okay. Um, can I do climb the Sapphire Tower after? After I finish this, or is this the last chance? Humans are the worst. <laughs> Wait, that guy looks like Edgeworth. What the frick? Edgeworth, I need to talk to you. Duke came to ruin today. I was really impressed how composed and dignified he was, and managed to such a poise with a bull cut like that. Incredible. <laughs> you can climb after? I think that's what I'll do then. I want to get some story progression, and I feel like I'm going to have to go to the tower to leave to the next area anyway. Maybe not. Okay. Make it something that- which wish aliens would take over Earth already so I can go out with one of them! <laughs> Uh, you are a gift. You are a gift. Oh, I can't go into the tower. Alright. Make sure everyone has faint resistance. Oh, jeez. Right now? Um, poison, death blows. Indeed, a giant, intelligent, friendly, talking spider. <laughs> Gift. How did you know? I'm just great at identifying them. I'm not buying you a saber because you're just gonna go away. Poison blind, free asleep, seal mute, faint. Fuse. <laughs> Boss with the abandonment issues, you're just gonna go away. <laughs> Look, she's gonna leave our party. I know it. I'm not getting her a new knife. My neck hurts. Help. R.I.P. Troll fan. I also get four feather brooch and four skull pendant. Those are important. Ugh. one more of these and I have to will you give me a VIP badge before I die <laughs> you need to pay the fine the fee <laughs> missing with what are we doing I'm so confused yeah it's a little bit um confusing Fame death blow can ruin your day. Yeah, I did one. Kick. You got it. You got to do it four times. There's a fine for not being VIP. <laughs> no. Dude, the music is bopping. Um. Oh, 
they're gonna move, aren't they? <laughs> okay, that's fine. She's <laughs> No, not because you're Asian. But because you're Californian. They don't like water. I'll do Ariel anyway. Do I have to pay four times? No. <laughs> you're free if you're not Californian, you don't have to pay the VIP fine four times. Kind of, yes, step into the, the the circle. I think Blossom is a fair and just cult leader. Thank you. I try my hardest. Yo, it rolls. Wait, did it take damage from hurting Joshua? I might have to heal after this. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I'm gonna have to heal after this. Don't move. Yeah. Her, her. Don't move. <clears throat> I think it absorbed his HP. Oh no. Okay, that sucks. Okay, I will use Ariel. Nice. Okay. And she needs to use... Jeez. Confusion is so bad! <laughs> Miss. Okay, that's good. sharks I feel bad for them they have like no land like no movement so they just keep crawling slowly towards me when I kill them before they even get nearby oh nice okay oh, fireball ow oh it did heal itself Ahoy! Hello, welcome, Macaroni King. Terror of the Seven Seas. Let me heal you. Exactly are these encounters anyway? Are they just wildlife? Yeah. These ones specifically are wildlife. I've been playing Sea of Thieves again recently, yes. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying it. Okay, she is no longer Anki. It's been fine, good. Okay! 
Hello, Capelucci. Welcome. A few seasons in the next few days or so. Oh. Bungos, hello, Papu. Hello, welcome. Peace. Okay, I don't, might not have to heal. Why is Joshua switched? Joshua learned Cloak and Dagger. Yo, that was worth so much. Yes. Okay. Under mint. That sleep vape, the just seal. Death blows. Death blows. Death blows. Okay. Uh, why? Guys, this is bothering me. How do I switch Chloe and Joshua? You'll need me faint normally. Tell them to move. How? Tactics tab? No, I'm not gonna mess with it then. Actually, we need to prevent some fuse. Prevent poison. Okay. Let's go help the orphan. Oh, it's getting actually darker. We're in the town, right? They've taken the children hostage. Sucks to be them. Teresa was interest, uh, injured in a mugging? Alrighty, adios, what are they to do? Please, your bracers, you have to catch whoever did this. Okay, but where? I'm guessing the inn. We're looking for the matron, she's upstairs resting. First the arson and now this, those poor kids. <laughs> no, not the children! Why? <laughs> How awful! <laughs> oh, I... <laughs> oh, hello. All the orphans been crying ever since they got back. Why would anyone pick on them like that? Yeah, literally, why are the orphans being targeted? I don't get it. <laughs> the lady, the other lady, it's just like no one caring about her. Everyone was worried about the matron. They're like, yeah, she got injured too, but no one cares. <laughs> they probably didn't even dress her wounds. They just tossed her in a bed. 
Oh, Miss Chloe. Everyone. Ah, everyone's crying. Wow. Ah. It was so scary. Thank goodness you're all safe. Pardon me, but what about the others? How is Matron Teresa? Don't worry, they're not hurt. I haven't woken up though, which is a has me a little worried. If I may then, I'd like to see them. Hardly hateful against the orphans. <laughs> no doubt about it. Someone used sleeping powder. Okay. Being tossed in her bed will refill HP anyway, so she'll be fine. True. As an orphan, I'm offended. <laughs> Sleeping powder? Yes, there's still a faint hint of it in the air. It's probably the kind without side effects, so there's no real need for concern. Hmm. Hey, Clem, can you tell us what happened? I'll tell you. I always ask Clem because he's the only one of the kids with a portrait. But Mary's the smart one. But she has green hair, so, you know. You self admit how oh, much better. That's me. Literally me. You were walking along the coast road with the bracer lady, and these strange guys in masks showed up out of nowhere. The bracer lady fought them for a while, but they surrounded her. She fought them to save us and Matron Teresa. That's why... There, there. It must have been so scary. I took an envelope from the matron. I really, I wanted really bad to get it back. Mr. Joshua, I couldn't help her. Don't think that way, Clem. I know that matron Teresa would be happy that all of you are safe. So you mustn't blame yourself. But I... Everyone's crying again. <laughs> Great. I don't believe this. Who would do such a thing? Fritz must certainly be skilled at hiding his own presence. After all, the braces wasn't unloaded, and Matron Teresa is unconscious. Chloe, I get the feeling that this was very deliberate. I'd say that the criminals are probably targeting the donations Matron Teresa had on her. If we find the money, we'll find the culprit. Yes, you're probably right. You seem a little calmer than earlier. Yes, in order to help the Matron and the kids, I must compose myself. Regardless, we have to find who did this as soon as possible. She's right, you know. Yep. Hi! Ah! Okay. Heard what was going on at the guild. Looks like you've gotten wrapped up in all one hell of a mess. Hey, don't make light of the situation. Karna got hurt too. We, they just said that no one got hurt. They're just sleeping. I know that, so quit your yapping. Karna's no amateur either. It takes some pretty skill someone pretty skilled to beat her. But you give me a quick rundown of what's going on here. Okay. Just trying to still turn agate the whole story about the donations for the orphanage. Huh. Alright then, there's definitely something weird going on. It had to be someone that knew about where the donations were going. Wait! Everyone knew about where the donations were going. That doesn't help! Uh Weird how? Well, here's the thing. You know the Raven Gang that was hanging out at the warehouse? They're all gone now. Warehouse is empty. Then, they must be the ones that assaulted Matron Teresa. Not so sure about that. Really doubt they'd have what it takes to get the upper hand on Karna. Yeah, that's true. They talk big game, but I don't think they could back it up. Yeah, give them a single hard look and they'll shut right up. For today, they're suddenly nowhere to be found. Couple that with today's little incident. What do we get? Like I said, something weird is going on. Even if they're not directly responsible for the fire, I do feel like they're involved somehow. Yeah, but this isn't the time to I'm to go checking that out. Come on, green, Greenhorns, let's go. What are you talking about? Where are we going? Slow in the head or something? Obviously we're going to Seaside Path where the crime happened. How those idiots did it doesn't matter right now. We've got to focus on finding some clues as to where they are. Huh, true. Understood, we'll help. Is he added to our party now, or is he just gonna follow us? Wow, how'd he get so late? Ah, this is no good. Are we supposed to search in the dark? Obscree. 
Hey, what was that sound? He finally came! I thought he was dead for sure. Oh, sick. Where have you been? Faint resist on airgate. <laughs> what the hell? That's sick. He's Chloe's girl falcon companion. Uh, as long as he's friendly. Understood. Thank you, Sig. I've seen everything. So messy, how did you get- What did your friend there tell you? Whereabouts of the ruffians who assaulted Teresa, evidently. Seems that he saw the attack. <laughs> That's a good one. Nice going, Sig. Yes, most impressive. Now wait a damn minute. You mean to tell me you actually believe that loader ball? Yes. We've seen him communicate several times. If you don't believe us, you don't have to come along. Come on, guys. All right. <coughs> um, wait up, you punks. <laughs> It'll seem like it's homing in on something, but... Come on, are we really following that thing? If this is your idea of a joke, it's not funny. It's not a joke. Matron and the children are like family to me. <laughs> Fine then. I thought you were yanking my chain, but I guess I'll tag along. Jeez, why don't you say what you really think? Our side, we need to get after going after Sig. Yo! <laughs> He's in the party! Dude, his level is ridiculous. Faint death blows. Might as well. Yeah. I like how we get to explore at night. Oh, jeez. Scare me. Stop it. The lighthouse? Isn't that the way to the lighthouse? Mm, let's go check it out. <laughs> Woo! Dungeon! Just as I thought. Hmm. A Varn and Lighthouse belongs to a city of ruin. If I remember right, there's a man who lives here all alone. This appears to be the place. I'm almost positive that the ones who attacked Matron Teresa and the children are here in this building. Which means there's a high chance the perpetrators have taken over the lighthouse. From the looks of it, that seems to be the only entrance. I guess that's all that's left to do is check it out for ourselves. Yes. Now oh, hold on a minute, girl. I want to see the truth my, with my own eyes. What the hell are you talking about? I want to know why someone would do such a horrible thing like that. So please, take me with you. I can see that you're, what you're, where you're coming from, but... Come on, don't act all stingy now. The only reason we knew about this place to begin with was because of Chloe. I can guarantee she can handle herself. So at least you don't have to worry about her getting in the way. Still, Joshua. Fine, have it your way. But I hope you remember that the skies are the ones that put Karn out of commission. Make sure you don't let down your guard. I'll keep that in mind. I guess it's decided then. Alright, let's hurry and check out the place. Uh, okay, I think we're fine. Uh, okay. Hurrah! Dungeon time! These guys again? Weren't they one of the ones from before? I swear, if I wasn't looking at them with my own eyes right now, I'd never believe it. Hey, what the hell are you all doing here? Ah! Yeah! 
Oh my gosh, the mind control, the mind control, guys. I think gang members' eyes are blank and motionless. Hey. A wild posse appears. Yo, why? Freaking trails brain rot raid? Yo! Hey, fire! Hello, hello, welcome readers. Hi, I am Blossom, the mischievous possum. I dug myself out of trash today to play some um, blah, 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 trails in the sky. This is my first playthrough, so please, no spoilers. Thank you. Trails through daybreak. Nice. Eh. Welcome, 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 welcome. <laughs> trails brain rot is a mood, okay? <laughs> this game is, I've played it three times this week. Yeah, Don Kapoor is also mind controlled. Hi, Knight. Hello. Hello. Yep, mind control is definitely a huge aspect here. But why? But why is the guy going from taking over an airliner to petty theft of orphans and and burning down an orphanage. That makes no sense. If I didn't know these were had to be connected, I would not connect them. It doesn't make sense. I think we're gonna figure that out, so. Or something. We're gonna figure something out. Also, these poor dudes are gonna get punished <laughs> for something they didn't do. Well, they did do, but you know. Trails brain rot, trails brain rot. Yes. Hey. Okay, look out. You're the carpets like you. They see orphans and they have to burn them. <laughs> Where are they getting the strength from? Dean, you son of a. This is just perfect. I don't know what kind of drugs you're smoking. If I have to beat some sense back into you, I will. <laughs> and he just jumps at him with his blade. Ow! Am I underleveled? Oh my gosh. Help. Help. Uh. Yes, you are. I <laughs> just ate. I was not under leveled before her. What the frick? Am I supposed to be under leveled? Is this the that's totally the thing. I'm gonna say that I'm supposed to be under leveled and that's just how it is, okay? That's just how it is. That's just how it is. Totally. Under level playthrough? You've been skipping all random fights? No! I wasn't. Oh, he doesn't do yeah. I forgot he's we didn't set up his ornaments. Oh, whoa. It's a good thing his health is massive. And he missed. Send people. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> no. Jeez. Oh. What? Oh man, that is straight up cheating. A CP uh, Stop attacking Joshua! 
What is Cloak and Dagger? Surprise attack aimed at the enemy's weak spot. Oh, yo, is 20% chance to instant KO? That is nice. I can't believe it. These guys are a hundred times stronger than when we dealt with them in the warehouse. They appear to be acting rather strange. I wonder what's going on. Hmm. Looks like they're being controlled by someone. Agate is actually smart. How? Controlled? Yeah, I agree. I'd say it's some sort of special hypnotic induction using a combination of drugs and suggestion. This allows the person controlling them to draw out their maximum physical potential. C can someone really do that? Of course, but they need to be pretty skilled to even attempt such a thing. I can only think of one group that could pull off something like this. You have an idea who might be responsible? Yeah, possibly. There's no time to talk about it now. Let's head upstairs. The real perpetrator should be up there. Alright, let's go! Hello, dudes. Okay. Shashima needs help! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! His slots are sealed! Oh! Okay, okay. A gate! A gate! Why? <laughs> oh, your slots are sealed! I am not paying to open them. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Trash. ATS. Yeah. Nothing cures brainwashing like grievous bodily harm. As you do. As one does. Here they come again! Looks like we don't have any choice but to put to put them down the hard way. <laughs> We're just gonna kill them. Yes, yes! Step into the circle. Heh. <laughs> How do you miss? You're useless! His level might be high, but his so is his miss. This. He's he's terrible. Oh, this is target only. Yuck. Uh, this game is so good. Do they target Joshua? My son! My son! No! Well, he's charging something up. Yeah, okay. I get is literally like the most anime character in the game so far.
No mercy? Oh, it's an insta KO! I'm so sorry. Shoot, he KO'd my healer. And she doesn't get any EXP. Yay. XP. You keep calling on my name or something? Hi, Josh! But I, I don't think I did. I don't think I did that, but hello, Josh. You keep on calling? What? Boo 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 boo. Dude, I like how he has a massive sword. It's so cool. It's a super anime. Keep being showing Josh. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Joshua! I forgot. Joshua's in the game! He's the edgy, uh, black-haired dude. I like him. I'm really sorry about this. I really didn't want to fight with anyone being controlled, but... This isn't the time to be holding back. We don't need to kill them, just knock them out. You keep dying, Josh. Why?! No! Stop it! Ooh. I show my son, which is kind of odd for first time in your stream, but okay. <laughs> uh. Me, I guess. Because <laughs> knocking someone out without killing them is easy and not luck based at all. Yeah. Thank you, Estelle. It's interesting, too, because most of the time humans drop the red crystals, but they're dropping the black crystals. You can just smack the head with a vase and they'll wake up later just fine. Exactly. Should be concerned that Joshua's spells tend to involve opening portals with skulls and bats coming out. No, it's fine. <laughs> uh, why would that be a problem? <laughs> oh, I feel like I shouldn't make an EP charge. Oh, 
nothing on this level. Okay. Hey, you hear that? Gilbert! 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 Okay, but is he hypnotized too? He has blue hair. I shouldn't have trusted him. Wait, his eyes aren't red. Okay, his eyes are not red, and that normally is if they have red eyes if they're hypnotized. So he's just evil because he has blue hair. Smug.jpg, yeah. <laughs> Job well done. Now I'll be able to blame this miss on the punks and everything will work out perfectly. So you take it you're satisfied with our work. Yes, you've handled things nicely. But just be sure, you haven't left any incriminating evidence, right? Uh, you've got nothing to worry about in here. And even those fools regain their senses, they won't remember a thing. Playhouse keepers shouldn't wake up until morning either. I'm relieved to hear that. With this, the matron of that orphanage should give up on her dreams of rebuilding it. Why? Literally, Gilbert, why? Why are you a jerk? Literally, why are you evil? I want to- Why is your backstory that you're a jerk, but- A series of incidents along with the arson will end up looking like the work of those lowlifes. You can get two birds with one stone. It's perfect. Glad to see our clients are happy with our work. Or if you don't mind us asking, what's the benefit of destroying that orphanage? Yeah, I want to know! I didn't know mouses could play video games. I'm not a mouse. That's the one thing I've been having a hard time understanding. She'll give up on rebuilding and, um, we profit. I've been left in any intrigue, in, just, uh, in, incriminating evidence, right? Not anymore, she's steward, yeah. Oh, please, if you really want to know, so bad, I'll let you in on the secret. The mayor intends to transform that entire area into a series of very upscale vacation homes. Really? Really? That... That's it? That's it? <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm so disappointed! <laughs> Interesting. Scenic seaside area, not far from Ruined City. It's prime real estate, we'll build a Walmart there. Exactly! <laughs> this dude's like, I'm gonna risk killing an orphan, like, not or an orphan, a whole bunch of orphans, and their, their widow mom. All for the sake of real estate. Okay, but is the mayor in on this, or did this guy just be like, Nah, the mayor's too nice. He won't take the deal if you don't do it. You were killing about- joking about killing orphans this entire time. I didn't kill him. Arson was the only answer, clearly. Oh my gosh. What more favorable geographic conditions could there be for that- uh, than, uh, That for vacation home. We'll build lavish estates there, and we'll sell them off to the highest bidders. That's been the mayor's plan all along. Okay, so it was it actually the mayor's plan though? Was the mayor actually like that thing? You're killing about joking them. <laughs> okay, I want to know if the it's actually the mayor's plan though, or if um. <laughs> I know I haven't been fighting long, but I thought maybe the orphans were magical and he was scared or something. <laughs> But uh, actually, thank you for the lurk. That's a ritzy plan if I ever heard of one. I still don't get why it was necessary to burn the orphanage to the ground. Ah, think about it. Imagine trying to sell a luxury estate to someone with a ramshackle place like that marring the view. Not to mention all the little brats running around close by and making a ruckus. See, something like that would definitely cut the value in half. Stuart, that's kind of lame. You're kind of a lame person. Like, literally, everything about you is just really subpar villainy. 
Instead of going to extreme like that, why not just buy up the place? Ah, oh, you didn't actually think a stubborn woman would sell off the land left to her, her by her late husband, did you? If we were to haul away the burned-out remains while they were away and build something in its place, there's not much they could do, could they? <laughs> Since they have no money to rebuild the place, they'll have no choice but to accept their fate. That was your reasoning. You used to seeing Gilbert, he's persistent, like Team Rocket persistent. Really? This absolute loser? Look at him! He's such a pathetic character. <laughs> what if the real treasure were the orphans we made along the way? How long have you been standing there? With something like that. You hurt Matron Teresa and the children, burn the memories to ashes. You deprive those children of their smiles. For that. Weenie. He is a weenie. How did you know we were here? But before that, what are those lowlifes doing dis downstairs? Too bad for you, they're taking a long nap. And to think that the mirror was behind it all. Plus some faces we've seen before seem to be involved too. So, you know who we are then, do you? We have been briefly acquainted with that red-headed bracer before. Huh. So running off like dogs with your tails between your legs and sicking some monsters on me means you're we're acquainted, huh? Now you finally got to where you I finally got you where I want you. Kill them, kill them all! Now they've seen my face, I can't let them walk out of here alive. It's unfortunate that you've fallen this far, Gilbert. We're both British. Because Lawson decided it. I thought we had something special. <laughs> Since this is a request from our client, I guess we'll have to comply. Let's see what you've got, Bracers. That's exactly what I was thinking. Just because you're hired help, don't think that you're any less responsible. I think it's time to make you taste the power of my heavy blade. I want to kill Gibbert. No, let me kill him! <laughs> Stop it! No! Guys, I think we rushed into this. Um, they have lots of knives. These guys don't mess around. We are fricked. Dude, wait, there's different fight music. This is great. This music is awesome. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, jeez! My poor Joshua, please! No! Don't die! Heal Joshua, please. Please! Oh, nice. Haha, <laughs> sucks to suck. Nice, I get to hear Eggett's voice. He sounds exactly like how I imagined. Whee! This can't be! Gilbert, steward of the mayor, and you boys in black. In accordance with the laws of Bracers Guild, you are hereby placed under arrest. Give it up and surrender. Ugh. Pretty tough, I'll give you that. 
Instead of to do oh with you haven't hasn't disappointed me at all. Lieutenant's gonna be mad. He warned us about this. Shouldn't have been as careless as we were. The lieutenant? Do you mean the guy wearing the red mask who was negotiating with the Sky Bandits? I'm surprised you know about that. Looks like you dogs from the guild are better at sniffing things out than we thought. I guess Bracer nickname is Heavy Blade? Yes. Your insults are pretty funny considering we just gave you a serious beatdown. Under rest more like under some nice old <laughs> personalities? What? Now hurry up and throw down your weapons and surrender. Sorry, but we can't do that. Are they gonna commit seppuku? What? What do you think you're doing? Don't move. Come any closer and this guy's brains are gonna be splattered all over the place. What is the meaning of this? What do you intend to do by threatening your employer? You're wrong about that. We're not our employer. The mayor is. It's so the mayor was the one! Okay. But there was you or the mayor here. The outcome would have been the same. I only cooper cooperated with you because we shared a mutual interest. We couldn't care less whether you live or die. J Guys, do not... Just let Gilbert die, okay? He deserves it. Just let him die. Just let him die. <laughs> Please. Don't shoot. Don't shoot me. Cut the tears on the crap. I don't think you can get away by trying to fool us with a show like that. <laughs> <laughs> they shot him. Yay! <laughs> My leg! Gilbert? Looks like they were serious about what they said. <laughs> this is enough of a show for you. And how about we blow the brains of the lighthouse keeper? He has nothing to do with this. If his life means anything to you, then I suggest you back up. Let's see. Like over by the stairs. Sounds like we don't have much of a choice. <laughs> I like that they were literally like, uh, we don't care about Gilbert. You can kill him if you want. And then they're like, oh, I'm gonna the lighthouse keeper. Oh, that's right. Well, you're told like the dogs you are. Looks like this is where we bid you farewell. They're just gonna jump off the roof. Wait! I don't think you're getting away this time. Oh, my leg! My leg! They have a rope! Rope? These guys are seriously prepared for anything. I'm leaving you you to take care of the idiot Stuart and the rest. What? I'm going after these guys. Or else you report to Jean and ask him for further instructions. Ah! Right, me too. Did, did you just see that? Um. Mixed drink acquired. One third alcohol, two third soda. That sounds delicious, Riptarian. Uh, I don't know what to do. Blueberry bird dog whiskey with Diet Pepsi. Dude, that sounds delicious. But also, I don't want Gilbert to get away. But I feel like he's already gotten away somehow. Even though he's... I don't know. I don't know what my arm just did, okay? I scratched my nose and it just went... Wah, wah, wah. Bird dog. Blackberry whiskey sounds good. Shindo! Shin, don't leave me alone! 
You know, we'll just wing it. Does sound fancy on its own? It does. Right, me too! Alright, me too! Hold on, Estelle. Didn't you just hear what Agit said? Yeah. Black Cherry? Mm. Can't just forget about Gilbert and those guys from the Raven Gate. That's right. Now I think Gilbert got what was coming to him. He's still hurt. Oh, alright. I hate to say us, but I guess we'll have to leave the rest up to Agate. Thus, in the end, Estelle and the others were able to take back the stolen money without incident. By the time the Mayor Stewart and the group of delinquents were safely locked up in the Minoria Windmill Shed, morning had already broken. I feel like I missed out on some points. Now then, I'll keep an eye on things here. Do you return to Ruin and report back to Jean? It's fine with me, but are you sure you'll be okay? Come on, I just got a whiff of sleeping powder is all. It all happened a little too fast for me to remember who attacked me, though. Pretty shameful, I know. Don't beat yourself up uh, over it. Still managed to fend off four attackers. The children are safe, thanks to you. Can't thank you enough. <laughs> well, I guess that there's that, at least. Still, will Agate be okay facing them on his own? No, he's tough and all, but it still worries me. If they somehow manage to get the drop on him. Now let's just have to trust that he knows what he's doing. He's been after those guys for a while now. He knows how they work, so I think he'll have enough time to take a tough. They'll have a tough time taking him on. I guess you're right. Just to fo focus on what we can do. You're right. You're exactly Ooh. right. Hi, honey. Hang on to the donated money until the matron wakes up. If those guys want it, they'll have to pray for my cool dead fingers. Yo, the cart boy. Thank you for subscribing. It's Prime. Heck yeah. You can count on me. I'll be fine, so you go on ahead. Alright, be careful. Let's go, guys. I want to in. I went in. Let me in. Keep you on these idiots. You guys head on to Ruin and report back to Jean. Why? Why is the mayor evil? Why? <laughs> Like, the mayor himself seemed fine. He was good at, like, hiding it, I guess. But I did, I did kind of wonder why he didn't let them stay in his, like, mansion. Because he has, like, a lot of space, so I was like, why doesn't he let him just stay, stay in his mansion? And that's why, because he wanted to get him out of the picture. Dalmore was behind everything. Just, he was just pretending to be kind and everything from the start. I've been kind of wondering about this. But will we be able, will we be able to catch the mayor this time? Huh? You raise a good question. This may be difficult. Raise the skills as a non-interference policy when it comes to government affairs. Considering his control over the whole ruin region, assisting, arresting the mayor isn't going to be easy. But then just a second, doesn't anyone else find that strange? It's funny, but law is law. That's why the guild can have branches everywhere, even in the Erebonian Empire. Yeah, but still... Anyway, let's just get to the guild and talk to Jean. I think he'll have some useful advice for us. Okay. I'm fine, don't worry about me. I just need to make the man in charge pay his tab. Yes, that's right. Why is everyone evil? Um. Why are you evil? Why are you evil? to grain levels of the Sapphiral Tower. Um. What is it, Chloe? Um, 
Are you two going to the guild? I feel his better dental benefits? No! Just remembered something I need to do, so you can go ahead- So can you go ahead without me? I'll catch up to you shortly. That's fine, are you going back to the campus then? Yes. I think I should report into the headmaster and let him know what's happening. Hmm, okay, I got it. What are you waiting for you at the guild? You're gonna kidnap Chloe! <laughs> Or she's evil. Is she evil? No way. Help, help. I'm still in the basement. It spills. Too bad. Keep watching. <laughs> 45 stream streak. Crazy. I'm sorry, still. You too, Joshua. Chloe began producing notepad and pen and began scribbling furiously. This ought to do it. Sick. Chloe is leaving us! <laughs> Josh, thank you for the follow. I understand. It's just hard to believe that Mayor Delmar is behind these recent events. It's certainly a major incident. So, Jean, do you think the mayor can be caught? I'm afraid it's going to be rather difficult. The only way it'll really happen is if he can be caught in the act. I figured as much. You can't be serious! We just have to allow a corrupt mayor to stay in power? Now, now, there's no need to panic. Bruce Guild's hands may be tied, but the Royal Army can get him. Oh. Still, Joshua, I'd like for you to go to the mayor's estate and question him. It doesn't matter if he gets angry. I just want you to buy us some time. You'll contact the Royal Army in the meantime. <laughs> Precisely. Contact Elise and Fortress HQ with the Orbital Communications System to request assistance. Sorry, can't do possum. Primal possum. Now it's not in the thing. Hi! Hello, Pop goes. Gilbert again. Now solve it. <laughs> shoot Gilbert again? Yeah. Let's shoot Gilbert again. <laughs> Just keep shooting him in the foot. <laughs> I don't like having to rely on the army, but I don't see any other option. Okay, Chloe. Once Chloe catches up to us, we'll go to Mayor's at once. Thrice for good measure? Hmm. I made it. Sorry for the delay. What? You didn't warn the mayor, did you? You better not have warned the mayor. Chloe! Not at all. Perfect timing, in fact. It's pretty quick for a run to the campus. Well, um, I'm pretty fast on my feet. So what's the plan? Just talking about going to the mayor's estate. To stall him with the interview with the royal army is contacted. Oh, I see. Maybe that wasn't so necessary after all. Huh? Um, so will you be coming with us? Oh, yes, please allow me to accompany you. I'm coming, counting on you to contact the army, Jean. Leave it to me. No! <laughs> Okay, let me see what time is it. Okay, my dudes. It might be time for my dinner. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Jeez, my leg cramped. No! Oh, it's right at the knee. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you guys stare at my corpse. I'm gonna microwave some food.
Boop, okay, food is being microwaved. Are you doing squats correctly? I think so. I thought you were falling off the st I don't have stairs here. I came to a thousand yard stairs. That's because I'm not currently tracking. It just kind of weirdly like sits there and sways and breathes. Kind of weird. You also got gifted a sub in Abby's chat. Oh, nice. Hello, hello, guys. Turn your webcam and show us your squat form? No. <laughs> my knees are not going past my, my feet. Guys, I'm so hungry, guys. Guys, I'm so hungry. Like, I think, let me see. Yeah, they're not going past my feet. Like the tips of my feet. Also, it came with a sauce, and I don't know what the sauce is. I think it's like a dill sauce? I honestly don't know what it's for. Like this, this thing. Feet, shoulder length apart, yes. Knees over toes, yes. If your knees aren't sounding like cereal and milk, you're doing better for me. <laughs> <Than me. laughs> yep, that's how I do squats. So I think I'm doing pretty good. Okay, let me check if food is done. Ah! My dude, Ew. I wish I could do smell a vision for you guys. This smells delicious. I need to take off my. What is it? It is shredded, loaded, shredded, sh loaded bacon, shredded chicken with green beans and a sauce that I think is made with like yogurt. Very good. Yeah, I love green beans so much. Keto? Yeah.
I have my keto meals now. The sauce kind of tastes like ranch. But not as sweet. It's very good. Green beans, very tasty, yeah. Well, I might just do, get like a can of, just get like a can of green beans and just eat that on as a snack on keto. A key to good asparagus is to fry it after some turkey, the turkey bacon, dude, that would be good. I don't like asparagus, but you know. I think just about anything fried after turkey bacon would make me like it more. <laughs> Asparagus and beef grease is great. By the way guys, this stream is, fat is sponsored by Fat Mill. <laughs> I'm not sponsored by Factor, but their food is really good. I definitely think it would be a lot harder to be to start keto without them. Sponsored by SpaghettiOs, exactly. Makes the spaghetti almost French fry like turkey bacon so good. I love turkey bacon. Turkey is my favorite meat. I don't think it's very keto though, which is sad. Cause it's not very fat. Like, you can have it. I don't, I just don't think it's the best thing that you can have on keto. Turkey, it's fine. Mm -hmm. The stream bought to you by bacon. Exactly. I do have to say one thing, a lot of the foods on keto so far aren't feel a lot heavier. They're like a heavy meal, even though they're, they're not big. So it left me feeling um, full. Turkey legs from Walmart. Most keto is high fat, so it helps you feel full. Yes. My mom wants to start only half do keto. I tried to tell her that she can't really do that. But she doesn't seem to get it. <laughs> it's like, oh, we'll just eat some of the, some of the keto meals, and, and do partial keto. And I'm like, mom, that's not good for you. Yeah, that's why I tried to tell her she'll just end up gaining weight, and she's like, no, it's fine. I don't, I don't think she gets it. You can't go into ketosis unless you do the full diet. Exactly.
body will continue using the sugar and storing any fat you eat. Exactly, Mundo. Dude, that was good. Tasty! Yeah. <laughs> if my mom starts gaining weight, then I'll tell her that. <laughs> She's really thin, though. Let me, um, I'll be back. I need to throw this away. They're like, in one hour, we will be fed. And I'm like, no, nope, probably not, because I'll be at the store. <sighs> okay, my dudes and dudettes. We can play for about another hour, and then I have to go to the store. And you need to buy some time until Royal Army shows up. We keep Mayor Delmore under house arrest. You're right up against Chapter Boss. <gasps> nice. Think about changing my diet a bit. Not necessarily the food, it's mostly timing. Need to stop this intermittent fasting thing. Mm. This will be the year of good diets. You guys need good diets. Okay, wait, can I get across now? This landing part. Heading out for the night. Have a great rest of the stream. Thank you so much for coming, Josh. Have a good one. We you possum me? No. The mayor's is across the river. This place is huge. Is he really doing all that nasty stuff from a place this nice? I don't think that really matters. Yeah, Dumbledore is originally from a large family of nobles. I think this estate has been passed down for generations. Okay, so estate wasn't paid for in blood, at least. That's something. Ruen. <laughs> Anyways, we need to find him and question him. Welcome to Ruin, May Ruin Mayoral State. I'm terribly sorry, but the mayor is currently attending to some guests. Perhaps you could come back in our time. What? Now hold on, just one second. Pretty sure we know who the guest is. It's Duke Dunnan, isn't it? What? Well, that's exactly it. Have you received an invitation as well? Yes, it came directly from the mayor himself. I apologize for the inconvenience, but would you mind? He's so good at lying. Now I take a closer look, it appears you're bracers. Circumstances demand it, the plea's gone up. Mir and Duke are in the banquet hall on the second floor. Excellent, thank you for your help. Blush. All right, with so many guests arriving, I really must prepare some tea. Please pardon me. She's so sweet. What? Oh, nothing. Um, just thinking how impressive it was that you knew the Duke was here. It's just a matter of asking the right questions. He's planning to sell vacation homes to the rich, remember? Duke Dunnan might as well have a bullseye target painted on his misshapen head. Wow. 
That's smart thinking. Still got Joshua. <laughs> jo Joshua's jealous. We did come up with that line about the mayor inviting us. It wasn't a line. He did invite us over the first time we met him. Does Raven start making trouble again? Feel free to drop by and let me know, or something like that. Oh, that's right! <laughs> so he did invite us. Brother husband was making kissy with the me. <laughs> exactly. Then we head up to the banquet hall. I never got to explore here before. There's so many rooms! daughter seems utterly smitten. Uh. Mm -hmm. It's piercing amber colored eyes. I swear I could get lost in them. <laughs> uh. Well, there's that Gilbert lad. I heard that we had an important guest coming in. I wonder what's being discussed behind those doors right now. Master is speaking with Duke Dunnan, you see. Save? Yeah. I like the sound of that. It would be a perfect place for a vacation home. I think I might stay for a while. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd think so. I'll see to it that you get our finest place available, my lord. I believe you'll be quite satisfied. You're quite the smooth talker. But good, money is no object. Prepare me in a state that is worthy of your future king. Make it as splendid as your holdings here. Pardon me, my lord, but wait a minute. The queen has to consult her with her before spending that such amount of... Silence, Philip, I'm to be the next king. Such positions are every day for a man of my standing. Yes, of course, well said, your grace. We can get a well-written contract together shortly. But first, one more drink. Oh, ooh. Hi there, greetings from the Bracers Guild. You. What do you people want? You look kind of familiar. Oh, it's you. Hi, Mr. Butler. We're just by- Chop by you to talk to the mayor, no biggie. This won't do. If you're here in the guild business, you should speak some, some, speak some semblance of manners. I'm in the middle of an important discussion, so why don't you come back later? Apologize for our rudeness, yes, Mayor. We intend no disrespect. I simply came to report to you that we have identified the arsonist. Oh, that. Well, then, I suppose. My lord, would you excuse us for a moment? No, so what are you going to say here? This sounds interesting. Uh, but... It's okay, maybe the Duke will have something to add. Won't do any harm for him to hear this, will it? Well, if we must. On the subject, it seems that Mate Trin Teresa was attacked again last night. Could the artness art sinners be linked to that? It seems very likely. Fortunately, the attackers are still at large. I see. Well, at least you say you know who they are now. So who did it? Who indeed? It's exactly who you think it is, Mayor Delmore. I see, it's quite the shame. I was hoping I could make them see the error of their ways before it was too late. I suppose that was in vain hope on my part. Huh? Who are you talking about, Mr. Mayor? What do you mean, who? Or the Ravens, of course. They've been in hiding ever since last night. I'm sorry, sir, but they aren't responsible. This time they claim to be, they claim to be victims themselves. What? So without further ado, the culprit is Duke Dunham! <laughs> <laughs> that would be so funny. Boop. You, Miss Mayor Dalmore. You already have Del Gilbert in custody, and we know everything. Also, proof that you stole money donated to restore the orphanage your lackey set on fire. Can you deny that charge? Nonsense! You think I know those people in the black clothes? Aha! Well, now that's a little strange. We didn't say anything about black clothes. <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. Gilbert was acting alone. 
I don't know when to give up, do you, old man? You know what you are plotting, to build vacation homes on land the orphanage occupied. Do you still deny the charges laid against you? Persistent, little brat. I've had those development plans in place for ages. You're just part of ruined city planning. What reason would I have to be so impatient with uh, that I resort to criminal acts? Well, how about a mountain of debts to pay off? Is it agate? No, it's not. Okay. Neil? What are you doing here? <gasps> That's the thing he was after! Oh my gosh. Figured I'd come to the mayor's place to do some investigating when I see you two going in. All things smell fishy, so I decided to sneak in. That's it in a nutshell. <laughs> His little heart. Who the hell? Just who the hell are you? I'm a reporter with the liberal news. The name's Neil Burns. Oh, it's Burns. Okay. Actually, I've been checking into the city's financial affairs recently. How do I see what the mayor Delmore here has been diverting funds from the city budget lately? Hey, uh, that's your funds for the expansion project. I'm not buying it. You haven't even started construction. Thought it was kind of strange, so I dug deeper and found links to the airship company's services. I was quite a little surprised. One year ago, you took more than a few trips to the Calvard Republic. Why? I I was just sightseeing. A reasonable claim. Truth is, you've amassed a nice lot big debt over there. Am I right? Whoa! Okay, so that's why. Hmm, you're losing me. How? By using town funds to, to speculate in risky commodities in the hopes of cashing in. Buying goods when they're cheap, selling them when they're high. That kind of thing. Oh, I get it. So how much did he lose? My fellow reporters over there told me. Something to the tune of... Oh, is that like 10... Is that like 10 million? 10 million Mara. Or is it a hundred? Ooh. A hundred million? Ooh. A hundred million. One hundred million Mara? It's a hundred times the amount donated to the orphanages we're building. I can certainly see why might, one might turn to crime over a amount that high. hundred million? I'm pretty free with my spending, but I've, I've got nothing on you. <laughs> I like how he's just like, ooh, juicy. It's just such a competition, you know. I'll let you mention it. Took funds from the city budget to pay off his debts and stave off any questions. I can't understand why you would turn to Austin and theft to build his vacation homes. This all seems so random. Hmm, where is your proof? I'm going to run your story with all of its wild speculations. I'll sue you in the newspaper for liberal. So, suddenly confident, are we? And you all! Brace's guild does not have the authority to arrest me, I'm the mayor! When well, you out of here now. Guess he's right. He knows his rights. Mayor, may I ask you one question? What now? What is a student of the Royal Academy doing associating with such people? Disgraceful! Turn to the campus at once. Chloe looked the mayor down more directly in the eyes, her expression cold and stern. Why did you not use your own assets to pay off your debt? 100 Mara is certainly a lot of money. 100 million Mara is certainly a lot of money. I think the house down will surely ha has enough assets to settle that matter. This estate, for instance, would easily sell for at least 100 million Mara. Don't be ridiculous. This estate has been handed down in the Delmore family for generations. How could I s ever simply let it go? The orphanage was no different. For many, it was a place fondly remembered. No one has the right to destroy something like that. How could you do such a thing? How dare you liken the state to a dilapidated old hovel? You care for no one but yourself. More than being the mayor or being the head of house, Delmore. You pitiful man. <laughs> Quite away with words, young lady. Let's see if you'll change your tune in a few minutes. <clears throat> okay. 
Well, there's orbal. What? Secret passageway! Fango, Bunko. Come on, it's dinner time. What the? That smell. Yo! Jay and Duggos! The hell are those things? Monsters? Uh -huh. My lord. Unbelievable. You actually kept monsters as pets. <laughs> Everything you think you know will die with you here. Don't worry, if there's anything left you, I'll dump it in the river. <laughs> He's crazy. So this frightening, freaky monster is part of the stalling plan now? At least we can arrest him for trying to kill us. I'm sure the other stuff will stick to uh, will stick to after this. I bear you both no ill will. I will now not alarm you. I will not allow you to harm anyone. Okay. Ah, oh, jeez. That hurt a lot. Well, that didn't go as I wanted. Use double head bosses are immune to. Oh, they're immune to tungsten cat. I'll just use his magic then. His magic is way more powerful than double hit right now. Craft will work on these bosses to lure their strength and defense. Ooh. No! So you can one the other gets an attack boost? Ugh. Dramatic. Okay. <laughs> Joshua. Not now. I need to heal myself. Thank you. Nice! 
you later. Bye, Fifth. Josh, we're gonna die. We're trying to keep him alive. Hey. That did not much at all. Oh my gosh. G, bad, bad, yeah, bad RNG. No. Who makes your next turn come faster? Oh. Joshua, it's always Joshua. I just want Joshua and Estelle alive so they can have their freaking XP. Still put a kick me sign on his back? Yeah. For real, for real.
Oh, is this a critical turn? Ow. Nice. How many times did I do this infinite? We're good to go. Hooray! 80! Ooh. Can't be my sweet babies! You weirdo. How could you do this? This <laughs> dude <coughs> uh, tries to kill orphans and then gets upset when we kill his dogs. You're wanting to talk? Not exactly! I just corn. Everyone keeps saying this. I feel like it's gonna be a copy pasta. Accordance with the Bracer's Guild Protocol, and this time with authority, replacing you under arrest. Surrender, and you will not be harmed. <laughs> Leave me no choice but to use my trump card. Oh dear. Huh? Uh, yeah. Huh? A wand? Time stop! I can't move! Did he use an orbital art? No. So has to be an artifact. So what the hell is that? Well, your knowledge is impressive, Miss Rins. So it's a Chronos Rod, an artifact which happens to be a family heirloom. It can completely paralyze anyone with a range in the blink of the eye. That's crazy! How does the church not know about such a powerful artifact? They're the tool crafted by the wise ancients themselves. What else would one expect? Tactical ornaments can't even begin to compare to this. Sadly, it only ha has the one function. Which means I'll have to slay my hands and expose you myself. You should consider this an honor. Wait, let's see. Let's see. I think I'll start with the smart mouth little brat first. You know, is he planning to literally kill everyone in the room? Even the Duke? Like, I guess the dude's passed out, but like, you'd have to kill his butler. <laughs> <clears throat> Who are you calling smart mouth? Perhaps I'll save the intelligent girl for last. Oh, what was that you bit about you, what you were saying about authority? Complete for your lives, it might help, but I doubt it. To you? Yeah, right. Keep your filthy hands off. What's that? Keep your filthy hands off of his still. Look, he lost his eye shines! Yeah! <laughs> ah, my boy! <laughs> Don't you harm a single hair on her head. I'll use every technique I knew to cut your no know to cut your miserable carcass to pieces. What? Joshua. Joshua. I certainly talk big for someone who can't even wiggle his fingers. And I'll start with you. Stop! Never let you get away with hurting him. Dude, he's not- He is actually pissed! He is actually pissed! <laughs> Joshua! Die. No! Uh-oh. What? That light. If I could just reach my camera. No, of course, Neil. What's going on? I can move again. Still, what was that black light? I don't know. But I think... It came from the ornament Dad sent us. <gasps> Impossible. My family heirloom, my artifact, it's broken. Hardly matters since you've played your last hand. It's time to face reality. Yeah! Can't believe you'd really stoop this low. It's disgusting. Ugh. I will not be taken in. Ah! 
after him. Okay. Hey, what up? <laughs> Can't let a story like this get away. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. My belief. Oh my. I believe I've lost a few years off of what little remains to me. My lord, are you all right, my lord? Ugh, the monsters. Okay, he has a secret prison. All right. Come back here, 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 come back here. Hey, what's that? Mary Delmar's yacht. Hey, wait! Go after him in this boat. Come on, you two, get aboard. All right, we'll do. What, a MacGuffin? Yeah, that's what the MacGuffin- <laughs> That's what the MacGuffin was for. Hey, let me come too! That's what the MacGuffin was for. If only we had Olivier's gun. All right, we're closing in. This craft is small and lightweight, so it seemed to have the edge, it seems. Stubborn, stubborn little. Take this. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> okay, what? Well, they'll teach you to not to, to, not to underestimate a bracer. Joshua, flank him on the right. Roger that. Huh? Well, how did he get so fast? <gasps> Here's a sail! Wind is blowing towards open water. It's catching his sails and giving him a boost. Not good. At this rate, the yacht will clear has a clear advantage. We won't be able to catch up. See what now? Haha! <laughs> Looks like Adios smiles on me today. Bid you farewell, brats. Gotta be kidding! We were so close! We're going to get away. Must be something we can do. What the? They're here. All right, getting away is all well and good, but what now? Guess I'll have no choice but to head for the Empire. Or if I lay low for a while, maybe he. Who? Who? What? What? <laughs> okay. Whom? Wild Bossy appeared. Loki and Dolph. Hello, welcome. Welcome, Vader's. Hi, I'm Blossom Mischievous Blossom. We're doing my special trash today to you. Play trails in the sky. Huh? What's this airship? It's the Royal Army? No, coat of arms is wrong. It's a Royal Guard ship, a high speed cruiser. Her name is Arcelli. Have a good dinner! Arcel? Oh, well, looks like we got here just in time. She's pretty! Arce. A blue and white uniform. You heard Magistory's royal guard? Precisely. I'm the company commander, Julia Schwartz. Mayor Morris Delmore of Ruin. I'm placing you under arrest for arson, robbery, and, and embezzlement, among other charges. This is a dream. It has to be. No, 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 no. <laughs> you fainted. What a loser! What? What's going on? Jin called the Royal Army for reinforcements. 
But how'd they get here so fast? <laughs> Hold their bracers. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. Please let us handle this matter. Nice. Press Mayor Delmore for information once he re regained consciousness, but apparently can't remember anything regarding the past few hours very well, if he remembers them at all. Huh? He's also drawing a complete blank about the arson and robbery. Huh? Really? Kind of like the leader of the Sky Bandits. But he didn't have red eyes! He's related to those men in black from before. Unless their military has something to do with this. And if you can't remember, the crimes are pretty clear-cut. Should go without saying that we'll be checking in out his steward, too. If we cover everything, uh, if we uncover anything, we'll let, be sure to let the bracer scale know. We appreciate it. By the way, Lieutenant, I have a favor to ask. What do I that be? Would it be at all possible for me to get on board that ship as well? Supposed to be the most advanced airship ever to come out as this. Make for a great story, and I really need one. I'm afraid not. The RCA was only just completed and is still undergoing flight testing. I must ask that you do not comment on her at all until she is officially unveiled. What? Come on! Gotta at least give me something about the mayor and his steward being arrested. Don't worry. Facts of sto the story will be given over to the Royal News Agency. Till then, please refrain from reporting any of this. Oh, what choice do I have? Alright, I can do this. I can write a story with even even the bare scrap of in info. Gotta hurry back to the agency and put these events on to paper. You'll pardon me, everyone. Bye, dude. I like him. <laughs> He's in his usual high spirits. Would you expect any less? Told the liberal news circulation and has increased dramatically as of yet late. Hope he's not planning to write a big propaganda piece. What do you mean? Never mind. It's quite impressive, First Lieutenant Schwartz. It's this dude again, Colonel. Oh, Colonel Richard. Oh, I remember you. Presume that you are the new bracers the guild spoke of. Alright. Oh, so you were the one Jean got in touch with Colonel Richard? Yes, a reserved word li list and fortress where the royal forces are stationed. Go here as quickly as I could only find out the crisis that passed. Excellent work, you lieutenant. It's very kind of you, sir. <laughs> Still, I wonder. What would the guards from the royal- What it would bring the guards from the royal city here, and so quickly? Perhaps you know of a route so secret that even our intelligence division is unaware of it. Surely you jest. <laughs> Come now, Captain. This is hardly a time to pick a fight. I'm simply mind the proactive stance of the real guardsmen. It's good to have you on our side. If it pleases you, Lieutenant, we'll take over the investigation from here. Move matters to a list and fortress. I believe the mayor will be atten uh, well attended to there. Yes, sir, I understand. Off you'll excuse us. Ladies and gentlemen of the Bracers Guild and the Royal Guard, and the young lady in the uniform. Fate willing, I'll, we shall see each other again. With that, I bid farewell. Safe travels, everyone. Maybe I'm just imagining things. But did the Colonel look like he was eyeballing Chloe to anyone else? Oh, was he? She pretended to be him or something, didn't she? Like to get him here. Sure, it's just because he doesn't see students very often in this line of work. Wouldn't it make too much of it? Well, I bet you what right. It's probably it. It's not the impression I got at all. I'm certain that he's just as surprised as you are. It's hard to believe the bracer so young would be so capable. He might be scouting you out to become part of the Royal Guard. Come on, don't flatter us. Is that who you think Chloe called? Y yes? Y 
lot of help on the case. You don't be so modest. You're not full-fledged bracers yet, but I assume that you wish to become so. Well, yes, we're in training for it. We intend to travel over the country before the Queen's birthday celebration as part of our preparations. See, you're, partake you're partaking in self-study, then. Dinner Schwartz, everything is ready for the uh, CO's part departure. Acknowledged. Still in Joshua. And Chloe, too, of course. Must be leaving soon. I hope that our paths will cross again. Yes, ma'am. I'll be looking forward to it. Thank you very much. <laughs> they have horns! Why? Regiment, attention! Oh. Royal Guardsman Warship Arce, prepare for takeoff. I don't- I don't get it. Oh, well, salute and fanfare to go with it. Is she, is she like royal or something? No, right? She's related to nobles. It's a little o overwhelming. Yeah, and the state of art shift to boot. But I guess you'd expect as much from the defenders of Her Majesty the Queen. <laughs> True. Lieutenant Schwartz sure is cool, though. She kind of reminds me of that character that Chloe played, Oscar the Knight. Oh, yeah. I think so, too. <laughs> what an odd coincidence. <coughs> well, don't tell me the Royal Guardsman showed up. And our sale was there, too. She was supposed to be cutting edge. It's too bad I just work at the info desk. I'd like to see that. I don't figure for the, you for a military enthusiast. Still, didn't you end up speaking to Colonel Richard? Yes, he was on duty at Louise and HQ. I don't know how the Royal Gutsman got here so quickly, though. <laughs> this is a lot more cross-communicational military than I thought. Amazing that they managed to communicate at all, given how many agencies there are. Regular Army, Border Patrol, Intelligence, Royal Guard. Must be pretty complicated. Cleaning up after an incident like this will be a major undertaking. We'll up into the administration of ruin from now on. Yeah, since the mayor's been arrested. Imagine they'll be sending in someone as acting mayor. If Delmore is found guilty, elections will be held. Plus, your operations will probably be made towards the orphanage. Really? <laughs> Thank goodness. All of this is thanks to Stella and Joshua. Thank you so much, truly. Come on, you don't have to be so formal. I just did what was right. Plus, it wasn't just us. Agate played a big part. Speaking of... Jean, have you received any word from him? Yes, but unfortunately, I'm afraid he wasn't able to capture the men in the black uniforms. You're not alone. Apparently, Agate was ambushed. What? Is he alright? Yes, he managed to defeat them. I believe he gave chase and they're not on their way to Zeus. Is us. I know, he's probably well outside of Rune. Wow, talk about hardcore. He's got plenty of experience, after all. He's been chasing those black glad characters for a while now. I think they're related to a job your father asked him to do. Dad asked him? Agate just did what he asked? <laughs> well, the one to put Agate of... To, to put Agate of the Ravens in his place was narrower than Cassius himself. Vice? Zeiss? Whatever you might like to claim, Agate stood no chance against him. Oh, seriously? Cassius really beat some sense of him, and it gets too stubborn to simply say thanks and leave it at that. I get it. That's why he's so abrasive when it comes to us. Abrasive fairly covers that guy's attitude. Hmm, I guess he's not so high and mighty where Dad's involved, huh? <laughs> Speaking of your father, something's wrong? About that black ornament that lit up and saved our lives at the mayor's estate. New party members! <laughs> See, this is why I didn't get Chloe a new knife. Yeah, that's right. So much has been going on that I forgot all about it. 
wonder what it was all about. Ormond may have saved our skins, but it was still weird. Unusually colored Ormond, huh? What can you tell me about it? Well, I still explain that along with the Minimo, it had been package addressed to Cassius. Why, that's quite a story. From Kay asking about Professor R. Could it be? You know what it means? Well, specifically, I got a hunch, but nothing to back it up. Tell us! If you want to know more about its origin, I suggest heading to Zeiss. Why Zeiss? As you, sh you should know, Zeiss is famous for the manufacture of ornaments. <gasps> oh! There must be someone there who might know something about your ornament. Makes sense. You may never learn about the Black Ormond without consulting an expert. But we still have more training for here to finish. <laughs> well, about that, you may want to prepare yourselves. Yay! What? Really? You had to have seen this coming. I mean, you got the recommendation from Abose after the Sky Bandit incident. Given your crucial rules in the cases recently, I see no reason not to award it. Your assessment and reward have been prepared. Money! A cool little orbital engineer? Oh. Teresa the target. Wow, all this on top of the pay for performing at the campus festival? Thank you for everything you've done for us. Come now, you've earned it. In fact, I'd also like to see you advance as quickly as possible. I believe we'll be able to make the best use of your talents this way. <laughs> Thank you, Jean. Do our best to live up to your expectations. Congratulations, both of you. Be kind of lonely here without you, though. Chloe. Right, it'll be tough to say goodbye. Please don't mind me. I'm just being selfish. Will you please tell me when you find out what day you're leaving? I'd like to see you off at least as far as the air lit and checkpoint. We're gonna puke, do it off stage. Chapter two completed. <gasps> Stubborn bastard. Hey, hey, hey! How is he keeping up with us with such a huge sword? My training method. <laughs> Miss that. Can't shake him. No choice. Time to counterattack. Three fifths the way through the game. Woo! Ah! you're finally taking me seriously. But I was getting sick of playing tag with you fools. He's not gonna give up until he we're, until he's dead. What a stubborn idiot. Does he really think he can beat two to one odds? I think I already have. What? Every fight takes spirit. You lose that, you lose everything. I figured out exactly what kind of spirit you lo users had when you took off with your tails between your legs. Science, Gilder Dog! Can't- we can handle you? You're in for a painful death. He's gonna animate the heck out of you. Ah! You can't get caught now. How about you just surrender? Give me your full confessions. Start with who you are and what you're after. You didn't concern yourself about that. What? When did you get here? Commander! You came for us! You two are pitiful. Fail to report is important, and is important, and this is why we have no excuses. We had a lot of interference. I get it. So you're the man in charge. Hmm. <laughs> Only of this particular scene. I want me to apologize on behalf of my men. Could I persuade you to overlook this incident? Huh? You can repeat that? I said I'd like for you to overlook this incident. We never had any intention of running afoul of the Bracers Guild. Don't make me laugh. You think I'm just going to look the other way and let you get away with what you did? I thought it was a generous offer, personally. Certainly a fairer price than death. Both of you, stand down. Return to the rendezvous point at once. Yes, sir! Thank you, Commander. Where do you think you're going? Hmm? Son of a... Fine, the target may have changed, but as long as I have one, 
You being the leader, I assume you got better information off from me than your underlings anyway. Think it'll be that easy for him to make me talk. Sure as hell intend to find it out. Don't die! Don't die! Yo, this music. Not bad, not bad at all. You're a prince of passion. Great weight bears down upon you. The song is Silver Will. Not quite so different from me. What did you just say? It's a painful thing to be powerless in a time of crisis. But you know that feeling all too well, no? I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> Fine then. I don't know who you are, but I think I like you. There's no shame in powerlessness. There's no shame in being outmatched. You and I both know that. Perhaps we should come to a mutually beneficial agreement. Screw you! Then act like you know anything about me. Stop using arts, you're not good at it. And for one hell of a beatdown. <laughs> yeah! We'll talk, no shock. But the guild's going to love interrogating you. Shadow clone! Hologram! What the? Is that the body split craft? What? I get to sense something faint from the dark forest beyond. <laughs> Nice try, but you got a heavy heart. And a heavy heart makes for a light blade. Why don't you come out from your hiding and say that? When a warrior enters a skirmish, he must be prepared to lose everything. Otherwise, he can gain nothing. In order to live as a man, you must forgo all anger and grief. With that, I bid you farewell. Presence in the trees seem to have vanished. For go? How am I supposed to do that? He forgo. <laughs> forgo! The black ornament. <laughs> Finally, we're gonna get some answers, maybe. Who knows? She's not here yet. Did we get here that early? Could be. I'm gonna kill some time at the tavern. No, it's nice out, so I think I'd rather just wait here. I doubt I could ever get tired of the view from this river. I'm kidding. New quest on the board and also Sephiroth Trower. Yes. <laughs> I get the feeling that Ruin's finally back to normal. Pretty amazing considering the uproar after Mayor Delmore's arrest. Well, Cedar Mayor has never been arrested before. Try to imagine if Mayor Claus was arrested in Ruland. Yeah, that would be a real shock. When I think of it that way, the people of Ruin almost seem cold. And they were clearly surprised by what happened. But not a single person was truly shocked, as far as I can tell. We have to remember, Mayor of Ruin has always been selected by Bloodline alone. He wasn't elected by his positions by the ruins. Ru Ruinians. It probably makes the different, all the difference in the world. It's true, the people of Relent are pointing Claus Mir because he, they liked him and trusted him. Delmar's getting what he deserves, but I still feel kind of bad for him. Hey, look who's here. Huh? Oh, Sig! Estelle, Joshua! Hey! I'm sorry that I'm late. No problem, we just got here ourselves. Don't tell us you ran all the way here. Feels like this beast is starting to come into place, aren't they? Yes. Really didn't need a rush. Couldn't let you two go without seeing you off. Thank you very much for contacting me. If I keep telling you, you don't have to thank us. You too, Sig. Thanks for coming. Well then, shall we be off? 
Okay. You need to use the south exit to reach Zeiss, right? Yes, on the southern road is a checkpoint called Air Linton. Set out for Zeiss from there. Watch your that. Okay, let's go. <laughs> and nope, we're not going that way. <laughs> we. Oh, hi. Oh, hey, you guys. Karna. You feeling better? Who's a fiddle? I'm back at work as of today. Wish I had some way to pay you back for all the trouble I put you through. Oh, come on. To become full fledged bra acers, come back to ruin. We'll be waiting for you. Oh, there's not anything. Okay. But the Sapphire Old Tower, there is that. Shitter sure city short is oh noisy. Did some did something major happen, I wonder? Yeah. We already did something bad? Is that a nice man? It's the truth that Liberal News wrote. It's just so hard to believe that the mayor was a criminal. That I never really liked him all that much. Wrong way! Bree! Eh. Okay, guys, you know what time it is. What did I unplug? I unplugged the wrong thing. Now my tracking's gonna die. Okay. Sky, fly high. Do 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 do. Okay, my dudes. Oh, let me see. Let's stop that. Okay, we're gonna see who to raid. Kit boy, kit boy is up fine. Still is online. Happy. Stella. She's playing Little Company. Hit. <laughs> Be perfect. <laughs> oh, that was weird. Grab <laughs> grab Thank you all so much for coming. Have a good night or day. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And I will see you guys t tomorrow. What? No, Stella's not offline. No, she's not offline. Good night. Good night. I'll harass her. Anyway. <laughs> um, let me see. What do I have tomorrow? I don't know what if I if I have anything planned. I do not. I'll stream something and it will be early because um I have church tomorrow. Anyway. Take care of yourself, stick it each other, and oh you pass me. Oh bye. Oh bye 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 bye. Oh bye 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 bye. Oh bye bye.